award that I'm holding in my hand. And if you have no idea what it is and what it represents, it actually represents media personality of the year, courtesy of the Fresh Entries Music Awards. Ooh. And do you know what this <laughs> means? It means that this person is now a celebrated award winning journalist. Like this is this is like the Emmys. The Emmys are, are competitions for the best journalists <laughs> in the world and the Peabody's and the only people that have won it are like, you know, the Jeff Koinangis, the Christian Aman Pauls, like <laughs> best people in broadcast. This mm -hmm. is journalism talk. This is not for other careers. And this award was won by our favorite co-presenter, mm. Stephanie Ayeta. Ooh. Good Lord. <laughs> I'm, I've run out of the all English I know in the world to describe this victory. Wow, that you have really spoken so. <laughs> all right. And then we also so have a clip of you uh, before you actually tell us how this whole experience and maybe how you also came to win this award. Maybe let's just hear your acceptance mm -hmm. speech because each time you win an mm. award or each time you bag an award, you usually give an acceptance speech <laughs> internationally, locally, anywhere, in any competition. Mm -hmm. And here is what Steph said during the KICC Fresh Entries Music Awards. I'm so excited. Let's watch it up. My name is Stephanie Ayeta. I was nominated for Media Personality of the Year and I've won it, thanks be to God. And it means, it means a lot to me because it shows, you know, the amount of support you have behind you. I have an army of supporters behind me and that makes a whole difference. So um, I'm really excited about next year. You know, I want to do great and mighty exploits, you know, in the media industry for the glory of God. That's how much it means to me. What, uh, how would you say that platform has motivated you or has molded you rather to be the person that you are and what more do you um, expect from it? Okay, so uh, you know, being a media personality, people look up to you. So I think from that, I've really um, learned that the way I live my life, you know, people, a lot of people are looking at me and uh, it has sort of helped me live right and uh, dream more, dream bigger because I know I'm a role, mo role model to someone but I also don't let it, let the pressure, uh, you know, get overwhelm me, get to me. So I think it's a, it's a great thing uh, but just being a media personality. It comes with a lot, with a lot of privileges, with a lot of ple uh, pleasures and also the pressure. So it's everything all together. Mm, 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 mm. Congratulations once again, Steph. Uh, just in case you had no idea who the winner is, the winner is right here with me in studio <laughs> live. <Wow. laughs> Stephanie Ayeta, congrats. This actually Thank means you. everything. First of all, how is this uh, competition and uh, what uh -huh. did it take to actually mm. win this award? If you can briefly tell. The Y254 viewer. Wow. <laughs> this is interesting. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much, Sakoa. And that was actually, the video we were watching was actually after, uh -huh. uh, you know, um, after I won it. So my, the acceptance speech was different. So I was so excited. I'm still so excited. So yeah. humbled by the support that I received. Mm -hmm. And I give all the glory to God. And thank you to all my supporters once again, all of you guys, my colleagues, you know. So how did I end up getting it? Uh, yeah. I was, um, so how you get into the FEMA Awards, you, are, you first are nominated. So my name was, um, my name was, um, how do I know? Submitted yeah. uh, by my producer. Uh, shout out to Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. <laughs> so yeah, my producer thought that I should, I should be part of it. So right. she, yeah, she, she sent out my name, I think, and my bio. So wow. now they, wow. they usually receive a lot of people. So they right. nominate from there. They choose um, th some of the nominees. So right. I managed to get uh, to the nomination. So that was yeah. also a big thing. You know, everyone who got the nomination was actually great, you know. Right. So and then now after the, no from the nominations, now people now get to vote for us. So you sent it out, people shared it out, my producers, you know, I, I got a lot of support. People right. shared it out, you guys voted. And yeah. Uh, yeah, that's how I actually got to be the media personality of, of the, the year. Yeah, and it's actually rated here. Media yes. And it, it, it's in bold. <laughs> I don't know if you're able to see it straight. Uh, media personality of the year 2020. I don't know whether yeah. I'm not showing my single shot, but I get it. Uh, uh -huh. uh, actually, here it is. Yeah. Uh, media personality of the year 2023. It's uh -huh. highlighted here. And yeah. this actually just means a lot. Uh, finally, how did it feel when they called out your name? Mm. Because there's usually that euphoric moment. They, you, they call you your name, they announce the scene. <laughs> and the award goes to the way they, they announce the Oscars, the BETs, mm. and the Emmys, and the Peabody's. The award goes to you, Stephanie Ayeta. Why are you like, 
<laughs> starstruck and everything yeah. was just falling apart and yeah you know, who are you with by the way during the award ceremony as well ah, i i came with my, my my people so i was with my family my brother oh, my wow. best friend yeah. my cousin who you know i had friends like val was there so oh, i had people val is i also knew a presenter, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so right. it, it was amazing uh, I was there. They actually announced uh, the first runners up, second runners up. I was right. like, I've not made it to first, second. And then they mentioned your name as, uh, as the winner. It's, right. it's such a great feeling, you know, going out there, people, you know, hyping yeah. you. Uh -huh. it, it's, it's overwhelming. The emotions right. are, yeah. are great. So it wow. was, uh, it's one of those experiences that I'll never forget. My very first award, award. as a journalist. Uh -huh. journalist yeah, yeah. a young journalist. As a young yeah. journalist, mm -hmm. yeah. Cause it's very encouraging. It's just cementing that you know you're on the right path, mm -hmm. and it's also just a symbol that you are meant for the skies. And the yeah. sky is not just the limit mm -hmm. anymore. And here <laughs> is not even the limit anymore. Like you're just getting started. So you're just getting started. Yeah, this so actually this is means a win for all yeah. of us. Next Rant. this year, we we, we mm -hmm. want to to see you there. You want to see me there? Yes. Amen. From your mouth straight to the universe and God. Yes. It's actually also a privilege and an honor to even share this victory as well because mm -hmm. when another person wins, definitely win. it's also me too winning and mm -hmm. it's so incredible to even hold it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, actually when I was watching, actually you made news. Uh, this was actually a news worthy event because uh -huh. when Stephanie was being highlighted in the news headlines, I was like, what? That <laughs> is Stephanie. And there's a friend, Where? there's a friend who we were watching with from home was like, really? Mm -hmm. Yes, this was Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> this was Stephanie who was making news headlines <laughs> for that. winning uh, awa an award, which is an incredible mm -hmm. thing. And yeah, you know, uh, this also reminds me, it also reminds me of people like Oprah Winfrey, who I think I used the word called avant-garde. Avant-garde meaning someone who's celebratory, someone who's mm -hmm. a life changer, someone who's like a trendsetter for young people. And this is something that a lot of Gen Zs and anyone who wants to be even where I'm sitting and where you're sitting mm -hmm. dreams to be. So it's not an easy thing. Yeah, it really it takes a lot of credit, a lot of hard work, and just a lot. So it's yeah. an honor and a privilege, and congratulations okay. once again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank right. you so, so much. So proud of you. Now yeah. you know who the winner is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. and, and, and I think right. uh, uh, you can tell us, Steph, what we should expect from uh -huh. the conversation coming up shortly before we take a break. Okay. So um, we've just been talking about the key CSE results that were released yesterday. And, uh, you know, I talk for someone who's just completed uh the examination they've received the results some have passed some have you know they don't feel like they have passed and they feel like it's the end of the world so it's actually not we want to tell you what's next so what's next after kcac is what we'll be discussing today with uh, a teacher he's also an evangelist and uh, holds so many other titles so stick with us for that particular conversation then later on Sakwa, what do we have yeah. And, and on my segment towards uh, the tail end, we'll be talking about how to carve out mm. a successful business. And now that we've begun the new year, maybe are there maybe new tips for anyone mm. who has a dream of starting a business? Maybe what are some of the things they should watch out for, especially now that it's 2024? And this is uh, the second week of the year, by the way. Mm. <laughs> it's not like we're on the third week, <laughs> the second week of Still January. Young. So uh. we are like three steps into 2024 so we are still yeah, looking and looking around trying mm -hmm. to read the room temperature of the year so mm -hmm. maybe what are some of those skills for young entrepreneurs and SMEs small medium enterprises that mm -hmm. they should look out for before you venture into any business okay. as we have that avant-garde moment as we go avant-garde <laughs> you can check it out meaning someone who wins awards okay Stephanie right. later we take a break we come back in a bit <laughs> 